Hey, it's Nicholas back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. You're back in my house, so behave. Okay, last video done was about installing FreeNAS in VirtualBox. Now, I said you'd have to wait a couple of days before you see it on real hardware. But you know me, I've got, I've just got a beer in my bonnet and I get stuff done. So, anyway, look at open up Google Chrome. I could open up Firefox, couldn't I, really? And I've actually installed the FreeNAS on a separate box. A really old one. It's not supported, okay? It's only 2 gigs of RAM in it, and it's a really old machine. I think the CPU's about 15 years old, but it works, okay? So I'll type in the uh, Addy for you. So, 92.168. If I can remember what I'm typing. Oh, it's already there for me. Look at that. It's a free NAS box. And what's my login? Okay. And we go to password, which is under toi. Under toi. Let's see what happens. And we're logged in. We don't want to save that, no. Because the test in progress. I'm not sure if I want a, a NAS box or I just want a proper server. I thought I really needed a proper server. Okay, I had one a while ago. But now we're getting so much information in the house that I need something to store it on. So do I need a NAS or a proper server? From my experience so far, I might, might go back to a real server, to be honest with you. The NAS box is, box is working quite well. As you can see, it's a really, really old machine. That's an Athlon dual core 3800, which is around about, is that 2 gig clock, clock speed? Something like that. There's only 2 gig of RAM in it. I had to swap around some RAM to make sure it worked, basically. And it's working fine, to be honest with you. And you can do so much in here with it. So, as you can see here, my traffic here, what it is, the zips I'm using, I've used hardly anything. It's not using any memory as such, to say. But when you are doing stuff, it really kicks in over here at 2 gig. So it does really, really need... I would say a minimum of six, but eight is their specification. CPU, on the other hand, works fine. And the CPU temperatures are okay. Okay, and There's been no load on it. I've not done anything with it too much. But say you did want to go with free NAS. This is the new interface, by the way. This is the new beta that gives you all the wheels and whistles and bells, is what I wanted to say. Okay, So I'll go to services here. What do we got here? I've got NFS running, I've got Samba running, and that's about... Oh, Smart is running as well. Nothing else. Because that's all I need for what I'm using. What about my plugins? Okay, let's go to plugins. What's available? A lot is available. Okay. Not as much as NAS for free, though. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know about that one. So what have I got installed? Let's have a look. I've only got Plex installed. And it works super fine. I cannot fault it one iota. It's not starting on boot up because I don't need it to do that. Okay, so I would go back to install something else. What would I use here? Uh, for personally, for me, I could use a PC backup, couldn't I? That'd be okay. Go to the second section. Jenkins is there. Nextcloud. Say you had Nextcloud here, if you really wanted to, you could install it. Okay. A BitTorrent client is here, so that's QBitTorrent, so that's okay. Go to the next one. Redmine is here. Library managers, Subsonic for your web-based media streamers. A cloud sync sire thing, you know that's called? Transmission. Right, okay. So you've got a NAS box, and you want to run it as a BitTorrent client, okay? We could install that, couldn't we? Should we do it now? This is how easy it is in the interface. It's a web-based interface. I'm just going to, for you, this information, this is just on DHCP, okay? So we're going to save that. Basically, we wait, and it will install. And while it's doing that, I'll have a bit of drinkage. Ooh. Now, in general, you should st set a static IP for this. R to really be honest with you, but I'm just showing you. I'm going to change this over to NAS for free tomorrow. And see how we get along. Then I'll be really honest with you, I might try a Pi out with a open media server or something like that. Or to be honest, I just might go back to Ubuntu server and have a real server running. It may be the easiest way for me, I'm not sure yet. But I'm having a little play with it and see how we go. Now remember, this goes into a jail, okay? So it can't break out, apparently. Okay, okay we're done.
So what's installed? Transmission is installed, okay. Go down here, go to management. Oh no, couldn't find my web taste. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, but I started. Might help, mightn't it really? So I started the service. This may work. Free NAS have changed quite a lot since I first used it. Well, I've not used it for about five years. So it has changed quite a lot. If I go back into management, it will probably need a static IP. But on the other hand, Plex does work. And it works super fine. So we'll go to Plex here. Go to management. And we should log in. No problem whatsoever. I've got to log in again. I'm not going to bother doing that. But it does work, no problem. So if you're on NASBOX, free NAS is one of the ways to go. And there's lots and lots of stuff here to do. But I'll be really honest with you, you might be better off just going to a real server. Okay? This might be, yeah, a real server. And do it that way around. We'll see by the end of the week, won't we? So yeah, that's free NAS on a real, real box hardware old school hardcore you know the score you know what i'm saying sneaky linux out i'll see you later bye bye